Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to talk about how to make a form submission um, and specifically whenever you submit uh, or when somebody submits your Google form you get notified by an email and uh, that's a little special thing that we can do so we're going to hop right into our Google Drive. So if you don't have a Google account or Gmail or YouTube or whatever, you can get one for free. Go to google.com, click on sign up instead of sign in. Otherwise, we're going to click sign in and log in. So you're going to go to your drive, go to your Google Drive, and we're going to create a brand new form. And let's just uh, rig that up. So in this scenario, we're going to create, uh, click on form. Uh, we're going to create one um, for, let's say, somebody was uh, letting you know their birthday or something. Let's use this birthday balloons here. And uh, uh, birthday form. Click OK. And so the first question is uh, first and last name, please. Not multiple choices, make that a text so they can put their answer. That is required. Click done. Let's add an item pretty much on the same line of thinking. Um, uh, your email, please. And finally, let's click done. That will be optional. And let's make a date. So let's do a date. Let's see. Um, what's your birthday? question mark. Okay, so the question type is a date. So don't include the time, but include the year so um, they can choose that. And we'll make that a required question for this one. And we'll just add a quick description. Uh, add your birthday to the company. Birthday. Ooh. List. Okay. So click um, so we're pretty good there. We've got a name, we've got everything going on here. Let's close. Uh, click on Choose Response Destination. Let's do a new spreadsheet called Birthday Form Responses. So this is a new spreadsheet online that will keep track of my responses. I'll click Create. And then we're going to uh, click on, let's go to View Responses. That's a cheater's way of going to My Drive and finding the actual um, responses worksheet. So it's creating that now and here it is. So let's go ahead and just to show you I'm going to go to um, where is it? View Live Form. So here's what the form looks like and I'll show you in a, sub a submission really quick and I'll skip the email for now. What's my birthday? Just click submit, boom, and you can submit another response if it's like one of those. So, and you see there it's time stamped, and it gives you this, this, and this. It automatically goes onto there. So, as people submit to your form, it's going to go into this spreadsheet, which is private unless you share it. So, what we do, we're going to go to, um, yeah, I thought it was tools. Let's see, one moment. Okay, go to Insert Script. So click on Insert and go down to Script. And we're going to go to um, uh, I think it's Form Emailer. Type in Form Emailer by uh, hgebro at gmail.com. He's the guy that authored this. This is actually a script that's already been compiled and like put together for you so it's really easy to install and to use there's just a couple caveats that I want to show you so we're going to click on install and you're going to have to hit install again in just a second outside here so it needs to be authorized click continue click approve or accept or whatever click accept to authorize this script now close that and now you'll notice that form email is up here so click install it's like an extra step that's pretty much useless, except what this does here in a second is uh, click install again, 
is uh, it actually adds a second worksheet which we will not mess with click back to your form responses here and it adds this column A you don't want to jack with that just let it be okay so that's going to say sent or uh, email one sent or not sent or whatever that's what this column's for leave it alone it will it will work for you I promise so click on form email and go to settings here's where you get to set it up pretty awesome so let's have this go to actually that's fine we'll send it to that email um, and uh, instead of new form submitted let's just say new birthday uh, new birthday submission so that'll be the title the subject of the email and if you know Outlook or Gmail, you can actually run filters. And in Outlook, it's called uh, rules. It's called rules. And you can have it, hey, if it says new birthday submission, then it must be from my Gmail account. And then file it under this folder or do this and that and forward it to somebody. So, uh, Or you can also use the filters in Gmail. Uh, in Outlook, again, it's called rules. But you can have it to do something based on a pattern, and you could just have a really wacky or specific subject line that you always want something to happen when you receive an email with those conditions. So that's how rules or filters respectively work. But you don't have to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to change that and make it my own. Um, so you got submitted values, so you got your timestamp in bold. This is all HTML, so you, here's a line break. That's moves you on to the next line. Then uh, B is bold, so they want uh, the timestamp to be bold. And another line break, some bold stuff here. So basically anything in between the uh, the number signs is an actual form field. Um, this is pretty cool. You can customize the, sub the, uh, the body of your message, so you can do whatever you want with this let's do let's just leave it as is and I'll just kind of show you how this works um, if you want to change any placeholders so let's let's in fact let's have a, an email go to the sender so go to advanced and let's change the quantity of emails to two and then um, that will actually open up uh, go back here settings so I'll actually open up an email one and an email two one oh, I'm going to have to be the email one is the one we just messed with. Let's go to email two instead of uh, I'm going to say birthday. The subject will be birthday form submission confirmed. All right. And instead of to a specific email, let's use a variable which is called a placeholder in this instance. What's your uh, no not not your birthday, uh, your email. So the field that has your email is insert that place marker right there. So whatever their email that they typed, if they typed one, this email to thing will send an email to them saying all this jive here. So we might say um, thank you. Try to keep your e your birthday in mind during the year, or something like that. Blah blah blah. So click on save and close. Now let's test it out. This ought to be fun. All right. So first and last name. We'll just use the same one. This time I'm going to use an email account. Uh, we'll just use the same one. Our test email address here and click submit so uh, right off the bat I should be receiving a couple emails right here so let's go directly to my inbox and we'll wait a couple seconds do 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 oh wait a second no that's not gonna do it yet uh, my apologies. There's one final step that we need to do. That's that's not going to send anything. So, whoops. But hey, uh, it did. Oh, uh, it did go into the spreadsheet. But that's not good enough. Let's do this again. Um, 
Oh, phooey. We need to go to... Um, insert... We need to insert the... We need to go to... Uh, script editor, I believe it is. Go to the script editor. You don't have to do hardly anything. The script's already presented to you. Um, just go to your script editor. Um, and... We're going to go to Resources and Current Projects Triggers. Here's where we set up the triggers. So this is from something else. Click on Add a New Trigger. And it is time driven, or the one called time driven, I guess. But um, it's going to be from a spreadsheet. It's not going to be on Open. It's going to be on the form Submit. So whenever the form submits, it does this trigger, which runs this macro, sort of, called Time Driven. And I think that's what this uh, this gentleman wrote is called. I guess it's called Time Driven. But it's anyway. It's, it's just like an event uh, in uh, Excel VBA, but it's called a trigger. And we're going to trigger it on Form Submit. Click Save and just get the heck out of this uh, editor so you don't screw anything up. Um, let's try this again now. Now, submit another response. Let's do this one more time. And finally, the birthday. That's fine. <sighs> and click submit. Now, let's go over here and stare at my stare at my inbox here. Do 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 let's hit refresh I guess. Usually those come pretty quickly. Refreshing my email, refreshing my email. Boom. New birthday submission. Uh it well it's it's almost like backlogging. So it backlogged the, the two that we had already submitted. Um See, email one sent, email two not sent, because there was no email for this first one. Then email one sent, and email two sent, and email one sent, email two sent. So there should be five emails, and there are five emails. So let's take a look at the very first one. New birthday submission. So submitted values are this, timestamp, my name, no email on that one. And uh, so that was boring. Let's go to the next one here. This one did have an email, and it shows that here. And then if you go to the next one, uh, let's go to birthday form submission confirmed. So this would be the one that the user actually got after they submitted it. It would say, thanks for your submission. We'll try to keep your birthday in mind during the year. And then it says submitted values are this. So it tells them what they submitted, but um, that's like two different versions. This new birthday submission would be the one that I get in my inbox and the other one would technically be the one that the user gets and you can you can take away or add any information from what they put in there in your email you can you can even just have a simple thanks for your submission just to confirm you know you don't even have to have any of the details of what they clicked on or submitted so anyway I'm going to delete all these lovely submissions and let's see, delete. But anyway, that's how that works. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, do feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, appreciate your time, and God bless you.